Hello again, YouTubers. I'm with SpongeBob 101 back here again on the SpongeBob channel with our United States 2019 trip haul video. So this video originally I wanted to um, make and post after I posted um, the different clips and videos that I took during the trip. Um, of course, featuring lots of SpongeBob things and um the thing about it was those clips were in really in a different devices so uh, instead of having to compile them all at once before posting this video i just decided you know i'll just post this video and then i'll get to editing those other videos so i was in the united states for about just over two weeks and um, I went to a couple places including Utah, Wyoming, Colorado, New York, as well as back to Minneapolis, Minnesota, which is my favorite city in the United States. And they have the Mall of America in which Nickelodeon Universe resides. So there is actually going to be a new Nickelodeon Universe opening sometime in the very near future um, in New Jersey as part of the American Dream Mall but unfortunately because um, that the opening of that mall was pushed back so actually originally I thought I would be able to go to that one as well but I didn't so it's okay I still went to Minneapolis and I got a whole lot of different SpongeBob stuff not a lot um, or at least not as much as I thought I would have because my bags were kind of full of coats and stuff like that so it's okay, you know, a lot of things nowadays um, can be purchased online as, and in certain cases even cheaper than what they, what you would pay in a retail store. For instance, um, and when you, if you do watch the compilation of shopping for Spongebob items in Walmart and Target, that kind of thing, uh, that video that I'll be posting uh, really soon, you would see the next 100 episodes DVD at around $29.98. But on Amazon, sometimes the price drops all the way until $24. There was one point it was $24. Now it's going back up to $27. So uh, I thought, you know, why would I just, why wouldn't I just, you know, save a couple bucks and just purchase it on Amazon since, you know, it's going to add on to my luggage weight anyway. So I might as well just hold it off till Amazon. So a lot of things that you would see in this video, I couldn't find online or I didn't really look for online, I didn't know existed. So first up, we have got this thing. Now, uh, this SpongeBob pasta and meatballs made with pork chicken and beef and tomato sauce. Now, this was one of two um, SpongeBob consumables that I purchased. The second one was a box of uh, Go-Gurt, SpongeBob Go-Gurt, which I accidentally left in the um, hotel room free a uh, fridge back in uh, Bloomington Minnesota so it was a waste of two dollars and uh, that was pretty unfortunate but yeah it was yogurt so I couldn't really um, bring the whole package along with me and not have it you know go bad or anything the cool thing about this is that the pasta is uh, they attempted to shape the pasta like Spongebob Patrick Gary and Squidward which is Pretty cool, I would say. This was 79 cents at the first Walmart I went to in Cedar City, Utah. Uh, and uh, that was the only one left that they had. So I think that was why they trying to clear it out or something. Um, I'm gonna go on to the stuff that I bought at Nickelodeon Universe now for because I'm gonna go through all the SpongeBob stuff first. So first up, we got this Nickelodeon mug. It's green in color and has SpongeBob on it. Um, and inside it's orange. So it's like the orange for Nickelodeon and the green color for slime. And on the bottom here, uh, it was $6.99. So I thought it was a really great deal for this cool mug, Nickelodeon. I don't have a mug that says Nickelodeon, um, un well, until now. Um, next up, we have this SpongeBob dock tag. So this dock tag is double-sided. It has your name on the, on the SpongeBob side, and um, well, there's a Patrick side as well on the back. And this was $6.99 as well at Nickelodeon Universe. I got this um, SpongeBob bottle or drinking bottle slash cup, um, and I really wanted to buy this. Um, in fact, this was one of the very few things that I wanted to buy, or at least I had my mindset on buying uh, before going on the trip. Basically, SpongeBob is sitting on this Krabby Patty over here, and he's just uh, <laughs> putting his hands behind his back, and on the bottom of this. Krabby Patty, you have the Nickelodeon Universe logo, Mall of America, and on the bottom it says, uh, of course, the copyright and $11.99. So it's completely plastic, 
but I think it really looks cool and um, it looks like an action figure to me, you know, like those figures. I really like how he's sitting on the Krabby Patty, so I had to buy it. Um, I also got this uh, Spongebob Slimies, alright, mystery figure, figure in slime uh, featuring Nickelodeon Slime. So this is basically a cube of slime that you can open up and um, I guess you could peel away the slime to reveal a figure, one of these. Uh, there is this, of course, golden Spongebob figure that you could collect as, as well as Mr. Krabs, Gary, Squidward, Spongebob, and Patrick. You know, if I ever opened this thing, I would want Mr. Krabs right there. It looks pretty cool actually. Um, yeah, made by Alpha Group and this was $9.99. So I hadn't seen these at all outside of the Nickelodeon store in Nickelodeon Universe, so I had to get it, and I didn't really bother about the price because you know I've I've already been all the way there, you know, Nickelodeon Universe, um, so many thousand miles just to get there. So um, the next thing here is SpongeBob Sponge Balls. Now the cool thing is that you can actually look inside to see what you'll get, and this one actually includes Squidward, um, or at least. Probably Squidward. Uh, there are, I believe, six. Yes, yeah, six different ones to collect. You have SpongeBob, Patrick, Squidward, Sandy, Mr. Krabs, and Plankton. Now, all of these six look really gross, especially like Mr. Krabs. Look at that. Like he's like salivating over his cash. Um, and Plank Plankton looks like a crazy, a crazed monster. Um, Squidward looks miserable as usual. Patrick looks insanely crazy and SpongeBob looks like he's too hyper <laughs> so yeah this thing again $5.99 I just wanted to buy it for fun it's like those squishy things like those stress balls so sponge balls um, interesting idea I guess I also got uh, this pack of SpongeBob series 3 mega blocks figures or at least one figure. So one figure is included in each pack. This one was $3.99. I don't have this a pack of this series yet, so um, this was good that I managed to pick it up. And then, um, also in the Mall of America, at Barnes & Nobles, I picked up the book, Sponge at Heart, How to Live a Bikini Bottom Life. Now, I'll, I'll be doing a short video about this book uh, separately. So probably go up the next one or after I post all of the uh, USA trip videos. And basically it's just uh, random statements from like show or inspired by the show. So that's really it. This was $9.99. I bought this at full price because uh, I was already at a bookstore anyway. So just decided, you know what, I'll just buy it since it's the Mall of America. And yeah, are you feeling like a Krabby Patty? Do you want to be a pretty patty? SpongeBob will have you looking on the bright side again. This collection of wit, wisdom, and undersea silliness is the perfect guide for anyone who wants to set a course for happiness. So this was just released this month, uh, I believe on July 2nd, 2019. Okay, um, from Walmart uh, in Egan, Minnesota, yeah, Egan, Minnesota. I bought this SpongeBob poster. I'll put up a photo of this poster on the screen now. Um, basically, a photo that I took of the display. And it just says SpongeBob, every character. This was only $4.99, so really great deal. Um, and uh, <laughs> yeah, it was, it was totally worth it. Absolutely worth it. Uh, I also got a couple more SpongeBob items over the corner here. So the first one is the Masterpiece Meme uh, for Surprise Patrick. And this one was on clearance, it was $13.98 when I bought it. Um, but when I went to another Target, they had it for $9.99. So um, Target doesn't always have uniform clearance prices. I don't know how they determine what the price of the clearance item will be, but... It was kind of a bummer that I paid four dollars more than I probably could have, uh, but it's still cool. This thing was huge, by the way. I had to carry it onto the plane, and it was kind of weird. Also, even weirder, I got this: the Pop Animation Target exclusive SpongeBob Funko Pop vinyl figure. So this thing, by the way, is huge. If you have seen uh, the masterpiece meme before, it's this size. 
And this entire box here is, well, at least 1.5 times, okay, maybe 1.4 times the height of that box. And, well, two times, or at least 1.75 times the um, width of that box. So it's really huge. I did not expect it to be this huge, but um, well, it is. And it is only at Target. This was $29.99, but I bought it anyway because this is really cool. It's so huge. It's it's literally so huge. On the side here, it says SpongeBob SquarePants. And on the back here, they show the rest of the Funko Pop figures, which you can buy for like $9.99. I think even cheaper on Amazon.com, $7.99, I think and uh, collect them all so yeah that is sponge right there it was sitting on the top shelf of the, the entertainment of the entertainment section uh you'll see that part of the store in in a video that i'll post uh really soon so yeah okay so now um moving on we have this spongebob plushie Basically a birthday sponge which was really appropriate because like this I bought, um, you know, to celebrate SpongeBob's 20th anniversary, $15.99. I think this plush is really cute. I did not buy another Patrick 12-inch um, plush because there wouldn't be much point of doing that. Basically, this is the plush that I bought back in, um, I can't even see it actually on camera, it's so tall, <laughs> um, back in 2016. So that is the birthday plush, really cute. I also got um, some candy. So these I purchased in New York uh, at Dylan's Candy Bar. Um, I mentioned this uh, candy series in uh, one of the news videos, I believe for May. Um, you walk through walls and make you sound smart. You'll rule the world. They'll bring world peace. It'll keep your face from getting any uglier. And they'll help make you fly. So celebrating 20 years of Spongebob. Uh, this was a very hefty $16, but I picked it up anyway because, well, it's Spongebob candy bar. You can't pass up Spongebob candy bars, can you? So candy, uh, basically all the references are from chocolate with nuts. And then there were also a lot of different extra things. Um, I'm just gonna show you guys this. I bought this US flag, um, a shirt from Nintendo New York, from Minnesota, and a whole bunch of other places, even like Yellowstone, and um, uh, even from the University of Utah. So this one's like the Yellowstone shirt, has uh, Old Faithful in that and of course there were five different spongebob t-shirts that i purchased um which i'll show you in a moment this one over here i bought in apple valley minnesota this was only 7.88 at walmart and basically just says spongebob square pants over there Next one um that i purchased is the crusty crab home of the krabby patty and now delivering this one i bought from target for 12.99 i this is also one of those things that I was planning to buy. So I finally found it in a uh, Target in uh, Bloomington. So that was great. So then I also got um, three shirts from Nickelodeon Universe. First up, the Rock Bottom Plunge. This was $19.99, oh, excuse me. So that $19.99. I also had this um, dark blue shirt for Pineapple Poppers, who lives in the pineapple under the sea. And this one was $16.99, it's supposed to be for kids, so I just bought a really large size. Um, but then again, I'm not planning to wear this, so it's okay, I'll just keep it for my collection. And finally, good morning, Krusty Cruise. I really like this shirt, um, it's a little bit big for me though. But $16.99, this was also available at a Nickelodeon store in uh, Nickelodeon Universe. And I thought it was really cool. They also had a um, gray colored one, so gray backing with the yellow. And I thought this one was a little bit more bright and uh, it's more Spongebob-like. It really reminds me of, you know, that short clip, Everybody Loves the Sponge, that I did post on the channel in 2012. I mean, that video had like a blue background and they were Nickelodeon. It was a commercial, I think, uh, basically just uh, uh, singing them singing a jingle about Spongebob. So that was cool. 
I also bought a pair of American uh, flag claw Crocs. Clogs from Crocs. So this I was also wanting to buy for a really long time, but I couldn't find it. Um, and one fine day when I was walking in the Twin, City, uh, Twin Cities Premium Outlets in Egan, Minnesota, I chanced upon the uh, Crocs store and they had this. So I bought, I bought a pair. It was $40, but it was all worth it. <laughs> Um, yeah, I really wanted that, but I really, as I said, I couldn't find it before. There was also this thing from Grand Teton National Park. Sheriff, I'm the sheriff of the Grand Teton, guys. And uh, I also bought a couple of Mighty Beans products. First one here, Mighty Beans Series 2 clearance. It was $2.99, no $1.48. This one I bought at the flagship Target in Minneapolis. Uh, and this one has two beans inside from Series 2. I also got from a different Target, this one in Bloomington, uh, one Slam Pack of uh, Series 1. This was uh, originally $6.99, it came down to $3.48, basically half the price, more or less. Uh, and uh, yeah, still has 8 beans inside, it was a great deal. And uh, you know, if, if I had known about this deal earlier, I would have bought more and then opened the pots to get the beans out then but i didn't know that so i only realized this on the day we were leaving minneapolis so i only got to buy one i also bought one of the series two now they only had one of these so i was really glad that i could get this series two at 348 on clearance uh and that was great because i don't have this uh in my collection at all either so it's still currently going for 9.99 i think on amazon so it was a great deal, 348. Um, yeah, definitely, I had to pick it up. So those are the Mighty Beans products that I got on the trip, and that kind of wraps it up. Actually, uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe, like, favorite, comment, etc. And of course, do stay tuned for our uh, USA trip videos featuring SpongeBob. They'll be posting in a couple of days. Um, especially the Nickelodeon store and Nickelodeon Universe as well as the walking tour of Nickelodeon Universe um, that I like to do. You know, I like to do those two videos every time I go to Nickelodeon Universe. So I did um, both videos before in 2016 and I'm um, doing a, a remake of those here now in 2019. So yeah, till next time, see you guys later. Bye!